Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a review of this Cabela's Firebolt. Um, I had picked this up to put on a just a kind of a basic training rifle, uh, just for kind of funsy shooting. Um, so I'm gonna start. We're gonna go through the box, kind of what that looks like, kind of what you're getting. Um, so obviously Cabela's Firebolt, uh, the prism sight. I wanted to do the prism just because you get the backup. Uh, etched reticle in there just in case the battery goes down or something like that on here you know it's stating that it's waterproof fog proof and shock resistant uh, on the website it's gonna say it's able to stand recoil up to like 1000 G's um, so that's that's just their statement um, with Cabela's since uh, Bass Pro Shop bought them out they used to have a lifetime warranty on all their products with their name on it now they have a 30 day and I believe you can buy uh, like a two to three year extended warranty where they will replace it based at the value of the product itself at the time of purchase so um, they do have an extended warranty you can buy with it if that's what you kind of choose but a uh, simple box right you can slide that out um, got yeah, a little smushed it in shipping, but this guy comes off, right? And I already have the optic out, but we're just going to go through the box here. Those optics, um, padded, and then your directions, we'll go over that. Came, uh, kind of in a plastic bag here, and they give you a lens cloth for the battery uh, it was cut out and it fit really nicely in here um, so it's it does ship really snug you don't have to worry about it moving around in the packaging I guess um, as far as the manual goes this is it it's a, like a 9 by 11 piece of paper um, just basics of it really uh, you know it says on the mount at the mounting here the thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't give you anything in here as far as torque settings uh, it, as far as inch pounds goes for torquing those down I when I put it on the rifle I had done blue Loctite on the nuts and um, torqued it to 45 inch pounds and after a couple hundred rounds I had it did not come loose at all so I started at 45 inch pounds and wanted to move up from there uh, just because I didn't want to risk I didn't know what they were gonna ask for on that as far as where it might break um, this is the reticle uh, what it'll look like and I'll try and show it here in the optic um, they got the the dots you know as in correlations as far as ranges and distances I do like that they tell you how big this is as far as size goes so like the whole outer ring uh, is 9 mils so they're saying 32.4 inches at 100 yards so like if you're coyote hunting um, you know if that thing fills the whole reticle that coyotes within 100 yards being that most coyotes average anywhere from 36 to 48 inches um, you know at 100 yards so if you're shooting uh, like silhouette targets they are anywhere from 12 to 18 inches depending on the size that you're going with uh, you know so it kind of helps you be able to use a reticle to range your target if you know the size of your target and you can correlate that with using the entire reticle to then range your target so I do like that they offer that because some of these scopes they come and you have no idea how big this this uh, ring is and you're just kind of making a guess and have to figure it out as you go um, so I do like that and then, like I said, they do have the the ranges there based on like a hundred yard zero. So simple, but like I said, it the manual could use some torque values for those rings. So setting that aside, we have the optic itself. Um, as something to compare it to, right? This comes in at one hundred forty nine ninety nine uh, before tax. If you go on like Optics Planet, um, maybe Midway, there is a company out there, Bersaka. Uh, if you compare these side by side, 
as far as an exterior look, they are almost identical, but that Barsaka, if I'm saying the name right, comes in at like $249, $249.99, I think. Um, and if you look at the exterior, almost identical. And I'll probably throw a picture up just to kind of show you what that looks like. Uh, and then they use a mill crosshair reticle, kind of like a scope. So depending on what you're looking for, that could be an option, but there, I, I would almost guarantee they come out of the exact same company. Um, right here, made in China, so that's not to be surprised by. Um, a lot of optics come out of there. Um, I've had seen a lot of people complaining about these uh, here coming loose and needing to put Loctite on. Um, I found that these, when I got it, were incredibly tight. Uh, I actually just left them because uh, they were very secure in there, so I just let them go. Uh, like I said, I threw a little blue Loctite on these. Uh, they do already have like the uh, the lock nuts on there, but I just threw a little Loctite on just to, you know, make sure it wasn't gonna go anywhere. Um, let's see, you know, you got your 45 offsets for whether it's a laser or a, you know, a, a red dot that you're gonna run uh, canted off there. The caps are aluminum, which is nice. They're not getting like plastic caps. As you can see, so they got a little ball bearing right there for adjusting your uh, windage and elevation. Uh, they're decent clicks. I wouldn't say, you know, they're definitely not tactile. They're, you know, kind of mushy a little bit, um, but they don't, I, I hadn't had any shift in zero in all the shooting that I had done with it. Um, it stays waterproof, but there is this O-ring here. So if your cap is off, uh, you're probably losing your water seal capability because that O-ring is right compressed in there, providing that water seal. So if it's raining out and you're adjusting your windage and elevation, just be aware you could be seeping water inside of the optic itself. Um, it's a red and green illuminated reticle with the 2032 battery. So um, really easy to adjust. It's a one to five on each. So it is daylight bright. Uh, the red is easier to see, I felt like in the daylight than the green. Um, but the green was kind of nice because it was a little lower if you were at like a low light or darker shooting. Um, if you did the green, it wasn't as bright as the red. So it was a little easier on the eyes. And then that green is really easy to pick up. Um, then it does come with the uh, caps, which is a nice feature to add. I will say they are cheap. It, uh, like when you feel the plastic, if, if you're in a very cold, if you're in cold conditions, do not be surprised if you go to flip this open and it literally just snaps off because it, it is a very light, cheap plastic. Um, I would recommend like finding the right size comparable in like a Butler Creek to back up, you know, to replace them. Um, just because those, I have those on a few other scopes and it's more of a pliable material. So it definitely feels like it won't shatter uh, when they're used. So I would recommend finding replacements uh, just for when these do break because I think they inevitably will. Um, a lot of people, I've seen some complaints about reticle size. We'll see if how well a person can see it in here. This is with the green. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to focus very well, but you can kind of see in comparison how how big that is. Uh, this is with the red then. And if I flip this open, we might be able to see. No, I don't think I'm gonna get it to focus for you guys, but. Um, I didn't find it too bad, right? You can see, like with the eye boxes, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, eye relief is probably like two and a half, three inches is what I found something comfortable for me. Um, and, you know, as far as shooting, it, it, it was simple to use uh, and, and comfortable to use as far as eye box and eye relief. Um, it's not a duty optic by any means. It, it is, if you're just looking for something to use to train, you know, start getting, teaching uh, the young ones how to shoot and 
and uh, get familiar with different reticles and stuff like that, this is a great budget optic for that. By no means is it a duty optic. Um, you know, if you're looking for something similar to this, I would consider definitely like a Vortex or a Burris, uh, which possibly come out of the same company or, or manufacturer um, from China as well but they're going to have a much better warranty for you if you do damage it kind of thing um, but overall uh, that extra three power is kind of nice or fixed three power like i said the prism sight so if you know it's daylight out and you don't need the illuminated reticle you still got a reticle to see uh, overall just for like a simple training uh, optic it is really nice to have but for for that budget uh, friendly kind of optic I would I would recommend it if that's something you're looking for but again I would not recommend this at all as a duty optic so uh, hope that answers any questions that you might have on this and uh, have any questions or co uh, comments please leave them below thanks